The gallery is pass with the brilliant Sunil Gowde, who's coming from Maharashtra, to create a show that speaks to us about sculptural sensibilities. It speaks to us about installation. It also speaks to us about the beauty of light and understanding that you can use and bring together the language and science of fiction, imagination, fantasy, and how to create a corollary of conversations with the many ideas that are formed in the mind of an artist. Sunil Gaude is not just an artist. Sunil Gaude is a creator of installations in which he brings alive those beautiful words of Louis Kahn when he said, light never knew what it was till it fell on a wall. And we look at this important installation in terms of not just the place and gallery is passed, in terms of the manner of execution and in terms of the dynamics that are created within the artist's design specialities. When we speak of specialities, we are looking at a mirror. We are looking at something as simple as a mirror that actually has a wide canvas of all kinds of commentaries. And in this commentary, he takes the object of a spider and he also uses the language of kinetics when he creates a work that actually moves into the scheme of things in terms of the shadow, in terms of the light, in terms of the many dimensions that he brings us. So will you please come and elaborate on this yeah, yeah. brilliant yeah, work? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Nair. So basically this, this work, when in first look you only think about that uh, spider, mirror, yes. and the shadow. But yes. what it came from, actually the title of the mirror, when your mirror shows you mirror, it is more about the self-introspection, going inside within yourself and trying to understand. <coughs> Most of the time, we are more comfortable in outer world, which you can see with eyes and you can engage, even you know they are all temporary. But it is comfort because you want to engage which is not bothering you. But when you are peaceful and silent and alone, and if you want to do your own this thing, understanding your own self, and you go within yourself, sometimes you get surprises. If you are honest, you have to face, they, they give you trouble, then you have to face it or you have to run it. That psychological thing I created with this, like you are facing your own multiples. So this spider when he is coming down, looking at the mirror, his own web, reflection in the mirror. So he start thinking there is somebody else, to checking he is coming down. He sails with his legs, he come more, when it is a safe area, he come more closer to the mirror. He realized that mirror shape, he don't know it's mirror, is broken in such a way it is also similar kind of vibe, uh, web, web, web. When he come <coughs> close, because of the pieces of the several mirror pieces, he started looking at particular angle, the several spiders within uh, inside of the mirror. Like uh, that is an angle which he can manage with that mirror. We are watching from the top view. And when you see that so many multiples and the shadows and the shadows again shadow in the mirror, he, he don't want to face that multiples and he ran away. So this is the idea. But basically this thought given me, you know, variation mode. Now when I putting the light in it and that become a hologram and the projection on the mirror, which the broken mirror also become a shape of a spider again and which the spider himself is seeing multiple which we cannot see because of that angle now we started seeing at least eight uh, spiders because one original one reflection then there is a one shadow over there when they reflect there are two shadows there two shadows here so there are like a multiple six spiders you can see and imagine there are like a multiple activities happening and you are not able to figure out and then it's run away. Now see this, when it comes close, on the wall there are two, here are uh, actual in mirror and upside and the whatever reflection coming from the mirror 
again adding into that whole thing so whole that volume of the ground plus uh, basement plus first floor the whole block is controlled by a spider web and the whole work with the positive negative space is talking about and giving you experience of deepness so this is what uh, all about that. so in many ways it's also about introspection and intuition yes and it's also about the human being learning a little more from yes. darpan yeah darpan yeah. belongs darpan, to yes. indian philosophy yes yes, yes. and um, there is a very beautiful old song which says mora man darpan kehlaye the inverted flaw the flaw that brings to our mind the beauty of many poets perhaps the classical lyricism of a great poet called sahib ludhiani and that wonderful film of gurudatt and wahida rehman kagaz ke phool this installation actually reminded me of that old black and white era it also reminded me about the beauty of poetry as well as what happens in a dialogue when everything is reduced to a still moment in this entire exhibition i felt that this is sunil gaudi's still life it is a statement that talks to us not just about time and tide it is a statement that talks to us about the beauty of the earth and all that is there in the world if we go deeper into the sensitivity and sensibility of sunil we realize that he has a very deep understanding of nature a deep understanding and devotion towards what he sees not just in terms of wildlife even in terms of the many rhythms of nature and flowers and leaves all come into that lovely so we would you like to talk yes about sure this? sure this book what you say is to the flower and leaves and the detailing even the leaves are eat by not the, eaten yes eaten and by the caterpillars yeah yeah the caterpillars yeah. have to eat the leaves because it is only after they eat the leaves and they get old get rid of their moths that they will become butterflies yeah, yeah. these these are all elements actually to bring to more close to the realistic and try to touch that uh nature's uh, aesthetic but same time we put it on the mirror rose and the rose and petals are not painted like a uh, naturally even they created as a form i wanted to establish the beauty of form not the individual color so everything became only black and white light and shadow just white and when i kept it on the mirror the story changed when mirror is supposed to alert that to be lies gives you wrong impressions that mirror is not doing anything your mind is doing that people who are <coughs> trying to search about identity and the search through the mirror the identity itself is not a physical it should within you and mirror only shows you a reflection not identity so to convert that idea even he cannot show the reflection correctly if it is too close you cannot say if you are too close the rose is putting on the mirror straight away so everybody wants to see the core of the rose but you cannot see neither the rose it himself itself able to see that and people when they go round they want to unconsciously see the core center of the rose which is a beauty we imagine and that is not visible so whole idea of identity through the mirror is actually according to me is not not happening so mirror lies and it has its limitation you want to know yourself you should have to travel within yourself but the mirror is also as old as history the mirror is also older than time the first example of the mirror was narcissus looking at his image into the water mm-hmm. and when we look back at art when we look at art history the girl and the mirror has been the most romantic symbol and it is actually ingenious how you have taken the mirror and you have created an entirely different as well as 
very deep sense portfolio of what the mirror can be to modern man in today's world okay in terms of the fact that you have created a series of works that use the mirror specifically in the circular dimension yeah as well as in terms of the plane mirror in terms of the convex mirror but in terms of the many multiple images that talk to us about life and its many elements so in many ways your objects are metaphors that go back into human society and the mirror is the metaphor that tells us that we need to travel deeper thank you sir yes thank you this is an installation that has been raised to a certain height but the beauty of this installation are the number of elephants that we see not only is it sculptural in terms of tonality and identity but here is an installation that has so many cross cultural reference elephants but i am sure that sunil was not thinking about the many references that i am coming to but i am sure he has his own intriguing philosophy for this brilliant sculpture but it is a sculpture that does not just have a spiritual energy it has an aura it actually has an aura of philosophies that go back to antiquity philosophies that also speak of the shiva shakti principle and it talks to us about purush prakriti that man and nature are interconnected and it is this interconnection that actually keeps the earth living so many please add yes yes uma thank you basically basically i am a nature lover and you can see my work several times there are butterflies came in last uh, one series it's several time then i was a traveler i was a hiker so my all journey in my life this somewhere is registered in your mind and heart and they any any form any image any anything can come with any other different dimension or like collage and it's establishing as an art so elephant is always uh, known for like uh, if you i have i like a thousands of national geographic magazines still physical magazines i have and uh, if you open like uh, that kind of uh, magazines nature this thing when you see like a elephants uh, in a row it is normally about they are walking to masai mara shot or they are crossing the river and they are going for water they are they are like a uh, 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 moving from one place to another place or whatever the whole journey elephant route and blah 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 so these images when you see the first thing always comes in my mind in the water and they are going for water and there is a journey and one is a leader and others are follower and blah blah and there's there's a full journey so what here i i was uh, you know, tempted to do a little surrealistic way that i created a shadow of elephants in like a water but in three dimension in a space in air so it is very surrealistic the thin line of glass and only the few elephants up and down which gives a, a, a impact of a visual experience of actually reflection but it is 3d and they are moving and it is like the the whole balancing i arrange in such a way like very crucial point if this is shifted then this is too much ahead and now you have feeling of tension that it can fall down and if he fall down then all others may also fall down so these every uh, aspect of that uh, image every angle create the stories and keep you engaged and a and very simple uh, point very very simple in uh, we say ki jo nazar ke samne hota hai wo nahi dikhta you can you can think and which uh, imagine something else but in front of you and you cannot see so this is a jar of water full of water we are talking about everything but we never notice that this jar is actually full of water and that water is a story or the reason for the whole story is in front of you you cannot register it or neither you are in more ways than one this exhibition plays out like 
an artist that has been caught inside a science lab. And from the lab, he takes a number of things that belong to the elements of the earth. He also takes a number of objects and he also plays with the idea of species. And so we are looking at two inverted jars, a pair of glass jars. We are looking at a magnifying glass. We are looking at a subject in which it looks like grain, but it is actually something that resembles sawdust. In terms of the identity of materials and mediums, Sunil Gaude is both intriguing as well as introspective because he has his own intonations and he has tremendous intensities when he creates a work that is like a collage of imagery. We are looking at the reptilian character of the snake. But the beauty of the snake lies in the manner in which it has been sculpted as well as the gold leafing that has been done in order to create a signature of antiquity. In this installation, there are many references, but there are also many identities that the artist plays with. So you please elaborate. Yeah, sure. See, this is called IDOD3, and there is a series called IDOD, which actually I say the inner dimension and outer dimension. It's an abbreviation of inner dimension and outer dimension, IDOD, which is a term normally used in the engineering world of or the fabrication world. Ki what is the outside dimension and what is the inside dimension? It started from there. In simple two jars. First you see that you feel like a snake shredded its skin and it went into the bottle. How? Don't know. There is a clue, clueless entries. But you connect. And when he, when he, when he shred the skin, I, I, as I told you, yeah, I have a very much fascination with the nature and uh, I love the, this small, small things. The journey, snakes, the butterflies, the journey, flowers, and everything. Yeah. And it's yeah. a completely opposite. is like a technical thing, like in glass jars steel, vice or metal thing, it means a very, very rugged beauty and very subtle and soft things. So I always think a snake cannot walk comfortably on glass because it needs a grip and it's, it's not able to get. So snake cannot walk on the wall if it is a glass type of smooth surface. So now here the jar that is inside is a snake. It is not only walking and managing to go up but it is also already lifted himself and enter into the different chamber. So on <coughs> the two ideas, like a, when you enter into the different zone or different thing, it is always a friction. It is difficulty, like like a space, even in a space, when that rocket goes out of the orbit, that time there is a friction. But once you cross that, then everything is smooth. So these states of life, these chambers of life, you keep crossing and reaching somewhere. So when it is, this is this fellow is crossing that, but there is a transparent glass on the top. I made it magnifying glass, but it's a roof, is a glass roof. He cannot go out. He can see outside, but he cannot go. So it's like a closed chamber. By doing this, I have a several different different images and ideas to we were to read. But one idea, I always have a contradictory idea. We are thinking the snake is gone from one bottle, vertical, and another bottle. But did we thought that these two bottles are actually together because snake is holding them? If, if you remove the snake, the two bottles can be separate. So, the, so there are like a two different directions in my mind going. Like one is a snake is going, but same time two bottles are holding my snake. So this, this work is more about the even is uh, relate to the societal thing, but I am not a social comment. I, I don't work on a, a political reason or whatever in my art. But the, the if you hit the core, it can also connect to the other world if it is a basic point. So like a glass roof, it cannot go above that. 
and the whole uh, element elements are here they are like uh, one is scientific i told you like a magnifying glass the, these jars i made then there is a sand and silicon snake skin which is very detailed and if it is a gold leafing i created because many snake leaves skin it become young again it has a energetic it has a something dynamics which is like a full force of going up Right. So we are also looking at transformation. Yes. And we are also looking at uh, living in many universes. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. When you look at an installation in which you have something as sensorial, but something that has the negativity in terms of hurting you, is when you look at the tweak which is a thorn and then you look at the reptilian character of the frog but the beauty of the frog lies in its contours in its sculptural dimensions as well as the opacity and transparency that the sculptor plays with when we look at that and we look at the mirror we are looking at convexity as well as concavity and we are looking at so many dimensions in terms of what it wants to speak about speak about and speak to as well as speak within is what sunil actually works upon in the solitude of his own creations sunil yeah see well, like i i told you ki uh, the ideas which appeals me and uh, which is like a alarm also like human ego it is it is uh, the, the idea of ego when i, I when i realized that the frogs the male frogs uh, blowing their uh, you know, bats just to attract a female uh, frog and there is a competition then the, like, it's like a mine is bigger than yours kind of thing that's like a human reflection but in a different form is they want to prove something that's ego and then this frog while doing that he is seeing into the shaving mirror that is a ready made mirror and which is looking like a big frog inside and he is making a competition of his own reflection and growing by thinking that somebody else is there but unfortunately there is a thorn in between so which is exactly at the point if he blow a little bit more and that's end so the whole idea how the ego can take you down how uh, but isn't it also about journeys yeah now now and about the many obstacles that we on our own create within our journeys yeah but also the magnification yeah of the image the object the intention and everything that happens around the life of a certain person yeah the frog is just a metaphor yeah yes just But a metaphor yeah. we are looking at the person in terms of man yeah we are looking at man in terms of the many things that he desires yeah so in many ways we in this work we are also looking at the contradictions that arise because we are a summation of the association of both devotion as well as desire the devotion comes in what you want to create the desire comes when you are creating a work that is the manifestation of desire yeah. the beauty of this exhibition is that each installation creates a sensorial episode in the minds of the viewer so sometimes we can actually think that we should concentrate on the sound sometimes we think that we should actually concentrate on the many facets of luminosity as well as darkness that the artist plays with sunil has a very fine idea of the physicality of the installations that he creates when you watch it and when you study it you realize that he is perhaps in many ways the creator of his own science fiction born out of spiritual necessities that come within the web of solitude solitude is extremely important when we look at these works because his works have been created in the solitude of his own studio 
Sunil, would you like to talk to us about this work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, uh, most of my, most of my works are more about the ideas come from within, in search of yourself, and uh, whatever I get over there. And that idea uh, started uh, giving me a sleepless night. Then to get my sleep back, I work, and then that manifests. Basically, I always say that uh, what I can see with my eyes closed, uh, I want to uh, share that the world, so they can see the with eyes open. And that journey is a manifestation. So here, when I uh, talking about inside, it is about the human desires. Human desires, like human desires, are endless. And that that kind of desires, you always feel. If I get that, then I will be happy. So you feel like this screw is taking you up. and you you have feeling that it is going up unless you are reaching somewhere but at the one point it is not reaching anywhere it is there where it is so the point is remain on that actually steady so it's a visual uh, this is perception about moving ahead but or getting something more or taking you up but it stand still at the one point simple thing the moment you can create illusion by in a film like animation like some number of frames still frames but it moves in a certain speed you see the moving images which is the basic principle of film and animation so that means your eyes has fooled by doing this in certain frames if you go in certain speed you feel the movement and if not then then quantum physics also entered into that like a high speed something goes and you cannot see anything So again, it may be fantasy. It may prove in nowadays the, that you can not able to catch with your naked eyes. So I work on Maya or alert and limitation of our perception or the other side of perception or limitation of our eyes and senses. So in that that thought, I realize I should make a movement instead of making a silence. Make a movement. And let the viewer experience the still sculpture, like a still sculpture. So here I created that. If you come uh, see from here, and you keep watching that, and keep thinking about this glass, okay, how this water is tilted, and other things. But in the whole experience, you miss that there is a one glass which is moving, and which one? They all look same. So. here i can put a little paper as a reference point now you can see this glass is moving and we are not able to immediately understand uh, catch that if this is a moving glass okay in same thought i same thought there is one more thing i work i work on a perception and reality which is my forte for long time is like a <coughs> things which the way it appears it may not be the same it may be something else so here is a like a, you know any any engineering workshop i i i i have to go like several workshops the mechanical to uh, everywhere you can see this gadget called vice so it is a basically grip when you hold tightly in this things doesn't move doesn't move so i got a Guide. Yeah, I can use this to make a feel that it is not moving. To make the feel that it is not moving, but actually this is moving. When you provide the reference point, the sufficient uh, element which you can register your eyes, then you can connect with that moment. these two works are very important for me because the idea i use the whole engineering for making a lens which is not moving yeah my work not uh, any political or social comment or anything but when you uh, deep core to the human uh, psychology human behavior human understanding obviously that connects to the social so that can project or reflect or people can have a 
read in that way that is a different thing but in my intention i am very clear that i am talking about the human inside things not about the political thing so like uh, here uh, i was thinking about uh, how people uh, like manipulation uh, other people's manipulation or cultural cultural influences other influences gives you a certain kind of idea that you people start seeing the world through that like blacks uh, problem with the black and white whatever the color problem with the color problem with the religion problem with the sanskar that okay, this is good this is bad and there is no clean untouched slate which we use so we have a pers- <laughs> preconceived ideas or notions from beginning without knowing that and then that leads to the your fixed idea which is an icon a temporary blindness so which is gives you a blindness for a certain period and uh, my effort is to make realize so in this whole thing when i was in central campolo residency that time i thought about conceived this idea ki and but it never uh, what you call realize that work and at the end uh, this is the work which uh, i realized after long time it's called temporary blindness you can see like the frog is coming on the specks and it disappears so because of the frog you are not able to see through the specks and when the frog goes then you can start seeing it so this is not kinetic but it's a different kind of technique i use for it. thank you in the vortex we know that it goes on of course it's life but life is so direct and cliche that i try to avoid it now i'm saying it goes on obviously it's life life engages petal gently nails apprehensively ideas startlingly never backs away contradictions are want to cancel third fate up down course strength walks softly strength walks softly so this is a carpet basically this this artwork born in the this title of this work is the other side of the mountain may not be stone and perhaps that is the illusion called hope maybe not may not <coughs> the first perception of this carpet when you enter you will see the black line and the slope it's going down you realize this is a carpet and the moment you reach to there you can see that it is up now it is not slope but it is going up and there is a down again and this looks like a soft carpet with the impression of the feet adds the idea of this carpet is very soft but we ignore the material people and the material is a nails rusty nails which is like a gives you a brown woolen effect but actually they are nails and you can which lines just now i read this gives, says everything about it the other side of the mountain may not be stone so it is and here is a small question like a black mirror which is easy to put a silver mirror but the image is too harsh so i want to subdue the things so i can use the black mirror so you have a suggestion of your uh, image into it to questioning whether to make a connect with that experience but same time it is not too loud thank you